Hey film friends, I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Welcome to the channel. The Return of Yorgos. And in case you didn't believe the weirdo master of the kinky, cruel, and absurd was truly one of a kind, this dude pulls the ultimate one for them, one for me, when he follows up two prestigious Oscar flicks like The Favorite and Poor Things with a triptych fable? Yeah, you heard me right. Three different stories, the same actors playing different parts in each, in what may be his most unorthodox work of art yet. The Yorgos behind Dogtooth and Alps, king of the caustic and nonsensical, has returned. But is this better? Stick around and see. This is Kinds of Kindness. Yeah, I'm ready for the news. Yeah, I'm ready for the truth. And I always make it purge. Control, power, coercion, manipulation in relationships. These things have been here before in a Lanthimos picture, and they're with us once again. Sure, The Triptych Fable, three mini films in one, is new, but so much of this is getting to be old hat for the maestro. Here's an anthology about submission and the wild links to which people will go to find love and validation from others. I mean, these are some desperate human beings doing the oddest, even the sickest, things to be accepted and approved of. But it's not just in relationships, it's also how people as individuals cow to or reject societal norms and structures. You could loosely label each of these three stories thematically as capitalism slash business, marriage slash relationships, and faith slash religion. Yorgos is continually probing at and sardonically going after this stuff. But here's the difference. This time around, he teamed up with one of his old pals, writer Ephemus Philippou. What a name. Also, sick mustache, bro. It's just like instead of Tony McNamara. McNamara's humor was biting, but the overall stories were cohesive and prestige -y. You see this in his last two films. The partnership with Philippou, by contrast, gave us extremely serious tales like Dogtooth and Killing of a Sacred Deer, which show people abusing and lording control over others. So, we're basically back again. Another commonality of these movies is just how offbeat the storytelling is and how striking the visuals. It's characters who aren't quite human as we would think of them. They speak in these robotic, mannered voices, and the worlds they inhabit aren't quite like our own either. So we find them on these little quests trying to figure out their lives. And every step of the way, we get dark humor mixing with eerie atmosphere to leave us unsettled and to push the boundaries of social norms. It's like he's showing us the worst calamities and then going, uh, see, the rules of society we take for granted, look how fake and malleable these all are. This is a film all about kindnesses being demanded from people just to sort of show us we're not really as rational as we think. Hint, they're not really kind at all. Or maybe ultimately when we show kindness to others, we risk being steamrolled and destroyed. So What's there to like about this? Well, the filmmaking craft is still top notch. Like I've said before, the black absurdist humor really plays in certain moments. Lanthimos returning to this emotionally stilted and satirical style, really ironic and witty and caustically amusing. Some parts are downright hilarious. But I think it's the performances which are the most effective thing of all. For me, Jesse Plemons is clearly the one to watch, especially in the strongest first story. But Emma Stone, Margaret Qualley, and Willem Dafoe all have moments to shine as well. And the icing on the cake is the eeriest score. Just sparse piano notes and a haunting wordless male chorus. If the man was going for off kilter and testing his audience with stunning imagery, he nailed it this time around. I mean, is anyone sort of getting a little tired of Lanthimos' weird twists for shock and awe's sake? That's always going to be the dig, right? He's esoteric and self-indulgent. He purposefully sucks the humanity out of all of his tales. But I will say, this picture feels mostly vapid instead of being truly challenging like his best work. The first story has some great ideas, but I kind of just wanted it to go on and be a feature-length film. In fact, I actually liked aspects of all three of the fables. With full-length treatment and development, we could really have something solid. But as chopped up parts of a triptych, they border on feeling incomplete and are kind of drained of their impact. It becomes sort of a shtick. Here's the same actors, but they're all playing new parts. This is all well and good, but it actually leads to my biggest issue of all. See, the trouble is that the odd fringe questions each of the three sections raise, they're not only not answered, but they're the most interesting part that we would have liked explored in an entire movie. Avoiding spoilers, I'll just say the nature of the men's business in the first story 
what is up with Emma Stone's character's disappearance in the second, and the true value of this savior-like figure in the third, all are just rife with ideas ready for exploration. But instead, Yorgos is content to do something appalling and twisty before quickly moving on to the next chapter. Finally, I'll just say, each of these short tales explores structure, power, and the rules under which we live, but like I said, that's what all of his films are about. He's done this all better before elsewhere. Even though I will acknowledge no one else does it quite as effectively as him. I still prefer that magical mixture he reaches in his highest moments where caustic humor meets absurdity, yet we still somehow connect emotionally to the crazy people on screen. See, lobster comma the. Unfortunately, this is not one or three such tales. So, what do we conclude about Kinds of Kindness? Well, it's classic Yorgos Lanthimos, a biting, bleak, and thoroughly absurd meditation on human nature. A film which brings us three unsettling fables filled with power plays, manipulation, and the desperation to belong. Yet, while his themes are familiar, the fragmented structure leaves some of the most intriguing questions unanswered. The performances, especially Jesse Plemons, are exceptional, and the film's visual and score are haunting. But despite its ambition, this one feels more like a collection of mis opportunities than a fully realized masterpiece. It's daring and offbeat, but not quite Lanthimos at his best. Yeah, I'm ready for the news. Yeah, I'm ready for the truth. And I always make it purge. Well, there you have it. The only thing left to discuss is our rating for this picture. FOF gives Kinds of Kindness 3.2 out of 5 stars. If you enjoyed this review, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to visit FermanOnFilm.com for even more movie content. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Stay firm, my friends.